Nick here with tinywoodstove.com and we're going to be taking a closer look at our tiny house through the roof install kit. We're going to look at what's included, how it all fits together, and what's not included. Let's get started. We have our, our roof vent. This keeps wind and rain um, out from the inside of your chimney. Uh, this is our new design and it has a shield that goes all the way around and that's to keep driving rain out. Um, then it also has a, uh, a top cap on it, plus a built-in um, spark arrestor on the inside. So for the tiny house kit, we have 40 inches of double wall insulated chimney. And this has um, ceramic insulation on the inside and it's two inches from combustibles. Um, we recommend that you mount this kind of the 40 inches split between the roof. And then if you need additional height on top, you can, you can add that on top. So that is the chimney. And then to step down from the chimney to a single wall or what's known as stove pipe, you use your single to double adapter and that connects to the, uh, the bottom side. And then you use a clamp to cinch that down. Um, each of the joints on the double wall insulated pipe um, for the vent and the single to double adapter clamps to cinch it down together. Next up is our roof support bracket. And this is what secures the chimney to the roof. It, it uh, carries the weight vertically and laterally as well. And this thing has two little legs that bolt onto the side. And this can be mounted on the top of the roof or the underside of the roof. These just bolt onto the side. It goes over the insulated pipe and then uh, cinches down. So next up we have our stainless steel storm collar and this gets mounted directly above the, the pipe boot onto the chimney. So this gets bolted onto the chimney, you silicone around this and this basically acts as kind of a little safety check, water running down the chimney, sheds off and it doesn't fall directly on that joint. Um, so that is the storm collar. And to seal up our install we have our uh, silicone pipe boot and this goes on the top of the roof. This works from 6 to 11 and it fits over nice and snug over the top and then you would just silicone the bottom and then attach this to your roof. And to trim out the install we have our stainless steel uh, adjustable trim plate and this is going to go over the inside of the structure, flat roof, angled and then it can adjust to match whatever pitch you might have. Next we have our telescoping uh, stove pipe and this can expand to fit between sections of pipe so you don't have to cut everything perfectly and try to like finagle it in there. You can just you know put it in and then expand it and connect the stove to the stove pipe to then the chimney. Sections of pipe um, both insulated and single wall are secured with um, locking bands. Um, the stove pipe, you don't have to have locking bands. You can use heat safe, uh, self-tapping screws. Um, we recommend the locking bands. It matches everything and it gets a, a good tight seal. So that's what's included in the kit. And there's some components that you may need that aren't in the kit. And we, we don't want to send you parts you don't need. To get a detailed list of specific parts for your install, I recommend you try out Flu, our, our Flu Parts robot. You can find that at tinywoodstove.com slash F-L-O-O. You enter your, um, your, your space, your stove, a couple of measurements, and it'll give you a complete list of parts. Or alternatively, you can contact us at support at tinywoodstove.com and we'd be happy to help. So this has been an overview of the Tiny House Roof Install Kit. Thanks for watching.